not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh. I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? Someone not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide. Hey guys, it's Arlie And um, to talk about space just in general for, for just a little bit so planets rotate around the sun, of course, right? And Earth just so happens to tilt a little bit. I just want to see if you guys knew that fact. Um, and also, um, are we, are, is Earth the only planet in the Goldilocks zone? Or are there more planets throughout the universe that are? Tell me down below, but let's get into this video. The greatest threat to humanity. Okay, the greatest threat to humanity, riddle. Let's get right into it. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about AI. I'm kind of terrified. Anyways, let's get into it for real. Let me let me get a whiff of this water. I'm a little thirsty. It's like kind of hot in here. All right. I like that. That's true. Humanity's always had these different problems when it comes to morals, ethics, war, food, just all these different things to have. You know, it's like we get out of one problem and sometimes we take steps back or we take steps forward and then there's something that makes us take two steps back. So it's kind of crazy. scientists call every latest danger the greatest threat to humanity in all of history and occasionally our very last invention do you know what the difference is between us and ants the fact is ants cannot think in a human fashion they cannot perceive of the existence of other worlds the immensity of the universe or the depth of the ocean they may know in their own trivial way such things as skyscrapers or people, but they will never comprehend that skyscrapers are built by people. And do you know how we treat ants? We stomp on them. Once machines learn to think and improve themselves, and when these machines can reason millions of times faster than a human being, they might master in five. That's, see, that's the thing. If machines or artificial intelligence can learn and adapt. Because you've seen it with like different robotics companies where they have robots that learn how to walk from nothing. <laughs> they learn how to walk from nothing faster than a human baby can. You know, typically it may take a year for a baby to start walking their six months. And then you've got robots that were just programmed or so quote unquote born today and they learn how to walk in maybe three days, four tops. And that is kind of scary because it's like, okay, what if they had our level of reasoning and level of critical thinking and they could, you know, think in a human fashion and, and, and discover the death of the universe and be able to really, 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 really comprehend things even higher than we can. We can't comprehend, I think, because we have the three dimensions. And I think there's a fourth dimension. I don't think we can even comprehend the fourth, the fifth. And I know there's the sixth dimension. Can we even, com we can't comprehend, but what if they can? Because they're evolving them much faster than we are. But, and they have that, see, see what's missing is that 
they're probably already smarter than us machines, but they're missing that sentient thinking. You know what I mean? Like, um, to be able to to look at a problem and find a way to fix it or to find a way to improve the quality of things around them in the universe. That's what humans have done. You know, we've come a long way as a species on this planet. And, like, like I mean, what do you think that machines would do to us once they get to a higher level thinking surpassing us just millions of years of head they're gonna either they're either you don't you better hope they're nice but that's just not the case the world was the the universe was never dandelions and roses you know what i mean <laughs> I, I wish it was that way, but that's just that's just not how it works. Take a human ten years. If no one presses the stop button, they might become something like gods in less time than it takes to blink an eye. We will not just be ants to them. They will surpass us a million times over. They will be able to calculate billions of possibilities and probabilities, reveal every law of nature, understand the secrets of consciousness, even destroy the world, if they want, that is. The smarter a machine becomes, the faster it will increase its own intelligence. It may take years for a machine to surpass ants in intelligence, but possibly a few minutes for them to become smarter than us. And that artificial intelligence will become smarter and smarter with every passing second. There will suddenly be something on this earth much higher than us on the ladder of evolution infinitely higher and it will crush us like ants if it wants to it will all come down to luck most often when we envision an artificial superintelligence, we make a grave mistake we imagine it will be some kind of good and friendly computer a helpful assistant who will always support and assist us but this is not so it will be something completely alien to us and at the same time able to reason if i hand you a big fluffy guinea pig and tell like you like it says don't... something alien to you and at the same time able to reason is different it, it, it's a different ball game when they're able to reason with you doesn't bite you would pet her but let's say i offer you instead a giant spider that is 400 times smarter than you still want to pet him <laughs> of course not a giant smart tarantula might be able to carry on an interesting conversation, but he will still be a spider, a cold-blooded killer with the instincts of an insect which we do not understand at all. In films, artificial superintelligence is generally portrayed as something human-like, and so it might seem to us that when that day really comes, everything will be alright. We are already accustomed to it as something like a standard old villain from horror movies, slightly clumsy and toothless. But a real artificial intelligence, when faced with a task like making people smile, might, for example, paralyze people's facial hairs to keep them smiling permanently. One wrong task like this and the planet will be full of ever-smiling people, but with eyes filled with horror. One could ask an artificial intelligence to end hunger on the planet, and it will say, that's easy, no problem, and then just kill everyone or hunger. Set this AI with the task to preserve life on Earth as much as possible, and it could easily kill all humans again. Imagine that a machine that has super intelligence, which produces cars in a factory, suddenly goes haywire. It has just this one task, to produce as many cars as possible. It improves on its own algorithms. It shuts the factory to the outside world so that no one can interfere with its mission. It redesigns and rebuilds the assembly machines so that they work more quickly and efficiently. It organizes the supply of necessary materials, which are immediately assembled by robots that obey only the superintelligence. In no time at all, the world might be covered in a gray dust devised to snuff out all life, and eventually the planet itself will be broken down into raw material, just to fabricate more and more cars. And who knows what might happen next? That's crazy, because if you give a robot ca a command, and it takes it that far, you just hear what he said? What if you give an a, a AI a command to make the best cars possible? It closes off the factory to the public just so it can make a better factory, make more cars, 
then it builds robots to go out on the earth and break down the the world into raw materials next thing you know the human race is dead because they you know all raw materials are broken down just so you can make more cars now your ass is gone because you just told an AI to make to make basically to just make cars and that's what it's gonna do even if it means getting you out the way that's crazy this insane AI could even go to other planets in search of raw material to continue to do its job this could all happen so quickly that no one would even have a chance to pull the plug what to do nobody knows yet this is not like dodging a meteorite this is much more serious the creation of artificial Intelligence really could be the last invention of mankind. Dang. Now that's deep. Can AI, could AI be the last invention of mankind? I don't know. If it is, damn. <laughs> I just gotta say, damn. You know, let's hope. It's not the last invention. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, these videos sometimes are a conversation. I enjoy science and education. So if you guys enjoy these videos, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, give it a like, and uh, peace.